Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series here in Minecraft with me, Little Nicky. Today marks my return to YouTube and to Minecraft in general. That's right, it's been about six months since the last time I played this game. So the progress of the might be a little bit slow to get started, but I'm really excited to be back and be Minecrafting it up with you guys on the YouTube. So whether you're new to the channel or if you're a returning member, don't be shy, press that like button, and let's get started. As I gather up uh, our first bits of materials here, let's talk about this world. So I do have a seed, which you can see here on the screen in front of you now. Um, the, it'll also be linked in the description below. In addition to that, we have also got some vanilla tweaks data packs, which you can also see I'm loading in here on the screen. And I'm also going to be turning off the fire tick so that we can use that for decoration. So aside from that, it's actually just a kind of another basic world. We're just going to be playing vanilla Minecraft here, um, aside from the vanilla tweaks data packs. But those are kind of just quality of life things in my opinion. So um, like I said, guys, we're just going to gather up our first bits of resources here. And then we're going to be heading off uh, in the northern direction because I know that there is a beautiful plains biome um, just on the other side of this birch biome. Um, and we're going to be exploring that. I actually haven't done any exploring. I just found the seed um, using chunk base and... And use the terrain toggle in that uh, to find kind of a good spot where I think um, we can, you know, set up shop. All right, so I'm actually going to get our first bits of tools here. I'm just going to start with a wooden axe and a wooden pickaxe just to get ourselves started. Um, we're going to need these tools, obviously. We're going to probably use our axe to, you know, I, I hate to say it, but kill some sheep, kill some cows, get some meat, um, and then we're going to be looking for some cobblestone that we can gather up um that way we can get those things kind of smelting so let's head off in a northern direction like i said guys there's a beautiful plains biome on the other side of this that i'm really excited to start exploring all right and i can already see that my saturation is depleting super quick so i think i'm gonna try to dig my way into the side of this hill probably just a couple blocks we can probably find some stone uh yeah right there perfect so we're gonna gather up a little bit of cobble here so that we can get ourselves a stove moving um obviously we don't have any coal but we can smelt down some of our birch wood that we got there so that we can you know cook up a few pieces of this meat and just keep it moving I'm also going to grab enough cobble to upgrade our tools here um, and I'd actually like to keep these wooden pickaxe and this wooden axe as well before they break or anything. I'm not going to toss them out because they're our first tools and yeah this is going to be a long term let's play world so might as well keep the first tools that we ever had in the game. All right, so we're on the edge of this birch forest here, and I can see a cherry blossom biome off in the distance. And I, this, I think this is also the plains biome on the other side of this tree line here. Um, so we're going to sleep through the night here with the bed that we made, and we're going to head across that water here in the morning and see what we can find. Oh, okay. Now that we're coming across the water here, we can see a village here off in the distance. So I'm going to head off in that direction and loot up this village a little bit. All right, so let's go around here, checking out all the materials that they've got. I'm going to steal some of this sugar cane so that we have it later so we can plant it for ourselves. I'm not going to leave that behind. I don't see much going on here. I don't know if some of these are carrots. I'd like to get some carrots. I think these ones are potatoes, actually. But uh, I might just leave those alone. I don't want to mess up this guy's field. Uh, let's keep looking around, see what we can find. Ooh, we got a bunch of horses. If we can find a saddle, that'd be great early here in the game. Um, that way we can get a horse and kind of explore a little more quickly. I don't see any chests here in the library. I'm not going to steal those books just yet. Uh, just because we don't have a lot of inventory space. And I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to be settling down just yet. And quite honestly, uh, as well, I would like to keep uh, any villagers that we come across kind of intact the best we can. That way we can come back to them later on if the villagers don't uh, perish on their own and kind of uh, maybe do village transformations all over the place. Um, I don't... Honestly, there's a lot of villages in this game nowadays, it seems like, so I'm sure we'll come across a few more, but I don't want to just decimate the villages. I'd actually like to kind of build up a 
fully immersive world that we can kind of explore different towns and things like that throughout uh, as we go. So let's try to keep things intact as we go um, and just see what we can kind of accomplish. Oh, and we got a chest here with nothing really, but I'm going to take the chest. That way we don't have to use up our wood early on in the game here um, to make any chest. We'll have that when we find a good spot to settle down. So this town is kind of tapped. Not much to gather here other than the books but like I said I'm gonna leave those for now I also see these high mountain ranges uh, in the distance here in front of us near that cherry grove biome so I think I'm gonna head off in this direction where it's a little bit more flat um, and just see what we can find in this direction obviously we have the mountain biomes in that direction so um, I'm not sure what's in this direction it actually looks like I can see the roofs of another village so uh, yeah let's go explore like I said a lot of villages in this game nowadays it seems like that are kind of close proximity so i wouldn't i wouldn't be surprised if there's maybe one or two more villages actually in this biome because i do know that this plains biome is large i don't actually know what's in the plains biome but uh, i do know it's a large plains biome so i wouldn't be surprised if there's one or two more villages nearby that we can kind of explore see if they have any useful materials and then we can find a good spot to settle down Okay, and so we have a blacksmith here, which is really nice. We know that there's going to be some treasure in here. Ooh. Ooh, we just got basically a full set of iron uh, armor right off the bat. We got some obsidian, too, which is really nice. Um, some more iron and an iron pickaxe, which is really cool. So we're already starting to fill up our inventory, as you can see here. So we're going to have to start thinking about maybe leaving some stuff behind. We can probably leave that behind. Let's throw on this gear right off the bat. That's awesome and what we need uh one more iron ingot to get ourselves our boots and we'll be set there so that's kind of what i like about this um game i like this feature i know i just put that stuff in there but i'm going to steal that chest as well but i like this feature of the of the villages that you know in the early grind it's nice to kind of get a head start a little bit of a jump start on things oh we got some potatoes here too that's nice um so we don't have to jump into the caves and slog it out we can actually just kind of raid a couple villages and get ourselves all set here early on which is really nice okay so i think this village is pretty well tapped here get another um flower pot for ourselves i'm gonna love using those for decorations once we decide on where we're gonna build the house and using that decoration uh, around the house as well again i'm gonna head off here into the north i see some uh spruce wood off in that distance uh, that means there's a taiga biome in that direction which is really nice i'm gonna love using some spruce in our early builds as well so that's gonna be really nice um to have that biome right next door so let's head off here further into the north direction if we could find a saddle that'd be really great so we've already raided two villages we have a full uh, basically a full set of iron uh gear which is really great but i'd love to find a saddle so that we can that way we can cruise around this land a little bit quicker um and yeah just do a lot, lot more exploring because on foot it's not very great and we're using up our food sources pretty quick here um so it'd be nice to find a saddle if we can find another village Okay, so we just crest this hill here, and I can see another village right out here in front of us, and I actually see a blacksmith, which is great. Um, hopefully, he has a saddle. That'd be really nice. We also got some donkeys out here in front of us, which is really cool. So, yeah, this, I mean, we're already almost on to night two here. Um, we need to get some coal so we can cook up some more of our meat, but this is, this is great. Oh, and look, we have this beautiful view of the whole landscape. It, oh, okay. Okay, we have another village down here. <laughs> so too many villages. Like I said, they're always kind of stacked on top of each other now, it seems. But look at this, guys. We have a ton of space that we can start working in once we uh, kind of find ourselves um, not... Exp oh, my God. Look, another village here, too. Too many villages, too many villages, but that's okay. We're going to explore them. We're going to find all of the gear that they offer, and we're going to continue on. Ooh, and we got a diamond, another pair of leggings. We have some boots that we can make now with all these iron ingots. And we also got the saddle that I was looking for. So that's huge. Awesome. So now we can get ourselves a horse and we can travel this terrain so much faster. That is big for me. I'm, I'm really excited for that. That's going to be great. All right, so this is kind of a rather small village. There's not much going on in it that we can get some supplies from. So I think I'm just going to move on to that Taiga uh, biome village, see what they have over there. We'll swing back over to this one, and then I'm going to explore over towards the mountains a little bit more, um, especially now that we can get ourselves a horse. The travel's not going to be too bad over to those mountains. 
Uh, but look at this landscape, guys. Now that we're up on this high ridge, look at this. Oh, we have so much terrain. Like I said, this biome is very large, in my opinion. Um, so I'm really excited. Obviously, building in the plains biome is kind of a cheat, right? It's kind of a cheat, but it's also the best, in my opinion. So, uh, But we're not going to be sticking just to a plains biome. Maybe here in Season 1, because we are going to break this in, up into Seasons. But... We're gonna we're gonna be building in other biomes as well, but to start out, I kind of want to play it in easy mode, I guess. Um, and as I get my feet back underneath me, let's test these guys out and see if we can get a good horse. This guy's slow. I can already tell. I can already tell he's slow. Oh yeah, he's slow. All right, let's check out this other one. What about you? You're slow too, aren't you? All right, I think I just saw the hearts. Yep, yeah, there we go. Uh, yeah, he's pretty slow. Pretty slow. Let's uh let's take that saddle off him and try out this last horse over here. Uh, fingers crossed that this guy. Ooh, I, yeah, he's moving a little quicker. He's moving a little quicker. Yeah, he's faster than the other two, so I'll take that. Not a very good jumper, but <laughs> that's okay. Uh, and I think I just saw a squid die over here, so I'm gonna grab that ink sack, that free ink sack. That's nice. That way we can make some journals and kind of things like that. Okay, so a few useful items. We have seven emeralds now. I grabbed some spruce logs. I actually took a bunch of uh, spruce trap doors as well, just because the material cost, especially early on, is a little expensive. And we got some spruce saplings so that we can grow these um, wherever we're going to settle down, which I don't think we're going to be settling very close to here. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be nice to bring those with us. I'm actually going to head back down to that last village that we found off in that direction. Actually, I think it's right there. So we're going to head off into that village um and then we're gonna explore towards the mountain all right so with this village raided we didn't really find anything that incredibly useful we did find this one carrot so that's pretty good we'll be able to grow those now uh, but i'm ready to go back and find our horse and get to finding an area where we can settle down and build our starter base okay so i think i have found a awesome area here just nestled below these mountain ranges as you can see there's kind of like a little spot right here where this uh, cliff side is I think that's gonna be a really cool spot to set up a starter base because what I think I want to do for this starter base guys is I don't really want to build like a central location for it I kind of want this to be a little bit off the grid so to speak uh, a little bit out of the way where we can just get settled get things going a little bit kind of take a slower pace to this whole let's play so I think over here kind of just nestled just below these mountains is gonna be a really cool place to do that and then we can expand by like I said creating space from a build from one build to another so we'll create a nice long road out to here we have these villages that we can transform out in the distance so I think it's gonna be a really cool spot to set up shop and get started so let's get over there let's build some chests set those out and get our supplies kind of uh, organized and then we can kind of see where we're at and how we're gonna have to proceed uh, uh, to getting this base built up um, and things like that. So let's get over there and check it out. Okay, so yeah, this is a nice little area. We're going to have to do some landscaping, but that's okay. I think if we just kind of flatten things out, kind of shape the land right here in front of us and kind of push these little mounds backwards a little bit to just kind of give us some space. And then we kind of bring a line from this corner all the way over to this corner, kind of rounding out this area so that we have a nice big open area to build our base on. I think that'll work out really well. So so yeah, guys, let's get some supplies set out here, get organized, and then we can kind of see how we're going to have to go proceed into this. All right, so as you can see, this is going to take a lot of work, guys. Uh, we already went through two of our iron shovels there. I made up a stone shovel just to help myself out as I was kind of laying out uh, all the dirt that we had procured from just a little hillside there. We didn't get very far in terraforming for ourselves, but that's okay, because this is going to lead us perfectly into our next adventure. While I was exploring those villages and the landscape, there's a ton of caves out there for us to explore. So I think it's time we grabbed our stone pickaxes here. I actually have a iron pickaxe as well from one of those villages. So we're going to head off into a little bit of caving, grab up some coal because we're going to need a bunch of torches underneath here as well. Because as you can see, once we get this filled in with dirt, this is going to be a mob trap underneath us here. So we're going to have to torch spam that up, to clean it up there so that we're not getting attacked at night uh, but yeah guys but i think it's time i think it's time we uh head out get some coal mainly so we can make torches cook up some food as well and get some more iron so that we can make more tools 
Oh, okay. I don't know how I missed this on our way in. Uh, we kind of stopped up there. You can see our horse, and we went down in here. But there's actually, like, a larger cave right here. Uh, this is crazy. That's actually really pretty, too, with that little pond right there. <laughs> uh, but this is, this is pretty crazy. Uh, maybe we try going down in there? Maybe? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's, let's be brave. Let's go adventure. Uh, let's get into this, guys, because, yeah, we're out here. It's nighttime, so might as well, right? This, uh, oh, oh, okay. We're down to one pickaxe here. We have our iron pickaxe, so we can get pretty far with that. Um, yeah, I would like to get deep enough to find some diamonds. If we don't, that's fine. I'm not opposed to it because, like I said, I do want to kind of take a slower approach to this. But at the same time, we're out here, so we might as well do it, right? All right, we got some zombies. I see a skelly. End of these guys. In, in, in. Oh, I see another one. Ow. Man, I wish I had a shield. Ow. All right, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, and we got some down. Oh, I can see deep slate, too see the deep slate so oh and some gold right there so we are right where we want to be guys this is gonna be probably the cave that we use right now uh yeah we got some more iron here more iron there so let's yeah this is good this is good this is what i wanted when we set out so this is perfect get out of here creep. god i miss knockback knockback where are you oh, no <laughs> uh we didn't get any gunpowder from that guy but that's okay we didn't get hurt either so <laughs> We got our first gold here, which is really cool. We've got some more iron in the walls here. This is perfect. This actually might be iron vein. That was kind of represent that. Maybe not. I don't see any uh, of the nugget blocks here. Uh, um, so maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a lot of iron, which is fine. That's cool. But I wonder if that will get us down to like the negative 64 or whatever it is nowadays. Uh, that way we can find diamonds because up here is obviously too high to find diamonds. I do see some lapis, which is pretty neat uh, But we don't have an enchanting table yet or anything. So kind of useless. I see some redstone oh, This is awesome but This is gonna take a minute. Come on lava. All right So now with the lava dispersed enough we can get down in here and start to Explore we're gonna have to be careful though. because I do see some skeletons. I see some zombies there's chances that creepers will fall on us here. So we got to be a little bit careful as we proceed. Uh, ow. Oh, yeah, see, I don't even know where that came from. If we can get our bow out. I don't even know where that shot came from. Man. Uh, this, uh, this might be a death sentence. This might be a bad idea. Not entirely sure. Um, but let's... Oh, what's the, oh, wait, what's that? That's not diamond. What is that? That's... Uh, that's... D dark stuff right that's the that's not that's dangerous stuff oh hello you're dangerous too what is that stuff called is that is, uh, is that the deep dark I, I said ooh, i see diamonds i've said deep dark a few times but I, I always just think of deep slate as the deep dark but that is where the wardens will spawn i think that thing right there will spawn the wardens uh those diamonds let's see if we can get ourselves out of here it'd be nice to have fortune wouldn't it oh this is a bad idea i don't like this idea <laughs> oh oh man i'm a little nervous i'm a little nervous oh hey new bat you're the new bat look at you oh you're the new one look at those ears those are so much better those wings oh uh, okay okay bye that was well lived a life well lived Oh, sweet. We've just found a geode. I just put placed that torch, saw that calcite. And what is this stuff called again? I forget. Uh, smooth basalt. So there's, there's a geode right here. That's neat. Uh, but I'm a little nervous about this spot because those diamonds are pretty close. So if we start mining those and things get dark, I might just take that out. That way we don't spawn a warden accidentally. Uh, because I am a little nervous about that. <laughs> way too early right now. I, I don't even have a shield. Let's see. Okay, there's nothing sending signal to it. That's right. Okay, so we don't have any... What, are those the shriekers or is this the shrieker? I don't actually know. <laughs> oh, I just threw my axe again. Gotta stop doing that. 
Okay, so this is kind of just a cool little area then. Otherwise, uh, maybe we take care of this uh, lava stream at some point. Did I just... There's more diamonds in the roof. Oh my god, perfect. Oh, this is awesome. So we have diamonds. Oh, this is great news. Okay, so yeah, let's grab these diamonds. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, let's get up there and grab those. Are those diamonds too, or is that just lichen? That's just lichen. Okay, yeah, no, I'm getting carried away. <laughs> let's see if we can get lucky, or if it's just going to give us one each block here. Probably just one each block. Yeah, that's fine. That's enough to build us a pickaxe, and we'll use our extra that we have back at our base to build a shovel, probably, uh, just to help with the terraforming project that we have going early in episode one here. Oh my god, this might be the scariest geode of all time. Oh my god. Yeah, this might be the scariest geode of all time. If this has those shriekers in it, that's uh, that's cursed. That, that is actually cursed. Uh, oh my god, that's so pretty though. I like that. I don't know why, but I like it. It's scary, but I like it. Let's, uh, let's... Ow! 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 Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Oh my god, this is cool! Whoa! That means there's- oh, This is so cool. Does this mean that there's an ancient city nearby? Or is this just something random that'll happen, like, at this- this Y level? This negative Y level. This is super cool, where it's half Geode, half Skulk. I really like this. I don't know why. Probably dangerous. I probably shouldn't like it, but I do. Okay, so we've made it back, and we're starting to smelt down of our, some of our stuff, but I wanted to go ahead and make that diamond pickaxe that I was telling you about. And I also want to, like I said, make up a shovel here uh, with our one remaining diamond. It might be a little useless uh, or maybe just a little bit abusive of our materials rather. Uh, but I think it's going to help us out here in the early stages. As I said, doing this terraforming and stuff, we're going to be using up a lot of our diamonds. Or, or not our diamonds, our iron rather. Making shovels to terraform this area a little bit more as well. So I think just having that extra little bit of durability might come in handy um and we're gonna have diamond shovel later on regardless so might as well get it right now get it out of the way so right now i'm just gonna smelt down a little bit more steak um and get myself ready to go back into a time lapse and terraform up all of this dirt once more Alright guys, so check it out. We have done a ton of terraforming up here on this hillside. We still have a little bit to do over in this corner, but we have enough here uh, that we can lay out our starter base. But first, I just wanted to say um, how we have kind of connected up this hill all the way down to the ground floor here um, where we were aiming for. Uh, I actually had to lower this top shelf down a few blocks um, just because it wasn't really working where we put it. It was a little bit too high for me. So I lowered it back down and made it a little bit more smooth to connect down into this area. So uh, yeah, a little bit more terraforming to still do, but we've got a lot done. Um, and as you can see here in front of us, we have our starter base kind of set out, laid out, and how we're gonna be building this. So I'm thinking we're going to be doing like kind of our main house in this area. It's going to be a little bit tall up into this area here. Um, we're going to be using kind of a classic Minecraft uh, look into this build, but uh, with a little bit of you know modern technique but we're gonna be using a color palette of basically cobblestone a little bit and a site mixed in there too just to mix things up we're gonna be using a lot of oak and actually a lot of the strip oak and then we're just gonna be kind of accenting it with our spruce actually I don't know if we're gonna be stripping anything down but <laughs> that's okay we're gonna be using a lot of spruce a lot of oak um, and a lot of cobblestone with a little bit of andesite and stuff mixed in there as well um, some grass blocks laid around and things of that nature but yeah, so we're going to have our main house here. We're going to have like a kind of a, like a little passageway in between these two builds. And then we're going to do kind of a windmill tower here. I think it's going to come out really nice. So I'm going to get a little bit of progress done here, guys. And I'm going to bring you guys back in. And we're just going to continue to do that throughout the process as we build this thing up. So I can kind of show you a step-by-step -step of what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. 
if that doesn't scream old school Minecraft, I'm not sure what does. Just that gray with just basic wood outlines. That is old school Minecraft, and I love it. And I think it's going to look so good here on this mountainside underneath these mountains. Once we take a step back and we're viewing it from afar, I think it's going to look really good. So the next step, what I want to do is actually start bringing in the oak um, up here on the second floor. And I think it's going to look really good. We're going to add some windows on the roof, which we're going to do the roof in just plain uh, spruce wood. So I think it's going to match really well with the oak. And then, yeah, it, it, this is all coming together already, guys. I guess I probably should have mentioned, too, that I ran off and grabbed all these materials. I just didn't want to bore you guys with watching me gather a bunch of materials after I just did a bunch of terraforming. I just wanted to get right into the build, so I hope that's okay. Uh, but yeah, this is coming out really good. So we have this little arch started here as well. We're just going to kind of tie that in with a roof up top as well. But yeah, let's try to put some of this oak in here now um, before we do any more you know, great building and great detailing and stuff. We'll come back through. We'll add windows here. We'll add shutters and all kinds of cool things as well. But let's get up here and grab some oak and we'll start putting that in place. All right, so there we have it, guys. We have the basic shape for the house kind of in place here, as you can see. You can see on the roof, we've broken up the basic roof line uh, with these little windows. I think it looks really nice. Um, and once we get some more detail into the roof, some more detail along these windows and along this plain oak that we have every, everywhere here, I think everything is going to come to life really well. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. So, so, yeah, this is basically just the outline of the house to get things in place. And then we're going to go through and detail everything out but now i need to go ahead and build up this tower with the little windmill on it as well and then connect up these two pieces before we do any detailing let me do that real quick and then i'll bring you guys back for the detailing phase okay so if we take a step back here and take a look at the build now that everything is more or less complete you can see we have the windmill tower here on the right side but uh, which is looking kind of skinny and slim uh which is all right, I think. I think once we add some detail into this build, I think it's going to look really good. Um, and it's going to actually add some depth to this tower. So it won't look so just uh, straight up and down here, um, which is basically what we have with all the stripped logs. So looking at the build here, something we could do to kind of break up the andesite and cobblestone that we have on this first layer is add a little bit of the mossy cobblestone and kind of like the corners in these areas where there would be hard shadows things wouldn't be growing as um you know full of life so we could add a little bit of grass in there kind of make it look a little bit darker in those corners for the oak we can actually bring back in some of the regular oak logs instead of stripping them i'd also like to bring in some of the oak planks just to add some horizontal lines to all of this as well and i think these will be a really good detail block to break up everything as well they're basically the same tone as the oak blocks but they have just different line structure to them um, so it just breaks up the monotony we can also add things like buttons and different types of signs throughout as well that'll actually bring things to life a lot especially throughout the tower here and then lastly, we're looking at a lot of spruce planks here and everything like that. I don't know exactly how we could break this up further. We have the windows in place here, but obviously you can see these just have you know too much of that um, spruce color all the way through below our tower here. So something I can think of to kind of just break up the eye line is just to add some of the oak leaf blocks kind of dangling around everything. It'll add a pop of green. It'll break up all of this brown. And I think that should do it. And then we obviously need to add some doors here, some windows, and then tackle the interiors. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just get this done, add a little bit of a roadway in here, kind of structure out a boundary around the house as much as possible as well. And yeah, we'll be we'll be done with our starter base. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we are done with the starter base for now. For now. So let's check it out here with the shaders on. Man, it looks so nice. I'm actually really impressed with this. Really happy. Um, 
I think it could use a little bit more detail, but we won't be overly critical right now, not at this phase. But we have this nice little winding path started here. I'm going to extend it all the way down through the valley and everything. Uh, but this is all we have for coarse dirt at the moment. So I've started to build up some like kind of rock retaining walls on the edge of it and everything. Check it out. We have a nice big starter base that we can really grow into. I've also started to plant a little bit on the outside. You can see here that I'm actually eating the carrots out of here right now. Um, and let's go over here before we move on to the right side. We have a little uh, overhang area where I've kind of been putting our horse as well. We have a big window up there on the top, but we'll get up to that in a minute. Yeah, I like this little overhang. We used the, the trap doors and just slabs and kind of built it up in a nice little angle. Put some hay bales in here just for a little bit of detail. It kind of extends the house in this direction a little bit and just adds a little bit more detail to it. Over here, you can see we added some windows and a nice little trim lines and just continue to build in the detail uh, along the oak ridges and everything using the, uh, the planks, the oak logs without stripping them down and again the bee nest or beehives or whatever they are um, in there as well just to give us some more detail I actually like the signs in here too as well just kind of gives it a little bit more 3d aspect to it but yeah i'm actually really enjoying this really digging it um i haven't put anything in it underneath our windmill yet i'm not sure that i will I, I don't really know what would go well in here yet but we don't we haven't got everything anyways it's episode one so there could become a become a use for it later on but yeah i just like this little overpass here that we can kind of pass underneath into the back uh there's nothing back here except for torch spam at the moment um and then we actually have a nice little chimney as well poking up in the back um i think that will be They'll come more into play once we get our wings and everything. You can start seeing that flame from the other side. Uh, on the other side of the building here, we can't really see it. So uh, once we get our wings and we're flying around and everything, we'll be able to see those particles, which will be really, really nice. So now let's take a step inside and check out all of the detailing work. So we have a nice little table here, some barrels. Just a little bit uh, more lighting and detail here in the front passageway into our little kitchen area, I suppose. Um, we have a nice little stove area here being lit with the fireplace. Uh, we actually have some tools as well, the upgrade gear here. Um, we have some storage that's temporary, you know, just some decorations throughout. But we have a lot of space here too for more decoration as we go, especially on the floor here. We could do something to liven up the floor per se. Um, but I actually like this. I think it looks really good, especially as you enter in here. Um, I really like the detailing. So as we pass through this little doorway, again, we have a little bench area here that you can sit down, read a book, a barrel. Um, we have some empty bookshelves, which I'm really excited to get those filled up with some books once we are into that phase of the gameplay. Obviously, we're not there yet. I've also just dotted around some uh, leaf blocks just to give some color to the area because we are using a lot of the brown uh, with the spruce wood and everything. And as we step upstairs here, again, uh, we're actually lacking a lot of detail up here, but this is kind of intentional. I kind of want to leave it this way for now because there's a lot of gameplay left to go and yeah, we're going we're gonna to find a lot of stuff that we can decorate these rooms with as we go. But we do have a little bench over here with another barrel again. Um, we have some shelving units here. We can add some more up in this way as well. And if we pass through this doorway, we have our master bedroom with our big balcony window that we could jump up in for easy escape if we need to. But we have our bookshelves, which just have plain old books right now. But once we uh, get some pen and quills, we can add those to them. Maybe we can write some stuff into the journals and just keep a log of uh, the progress of this world and all the happenings that are going on. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I think that is going to do it for me here in episode one. I want to say thank you so much for joining. Um, and I'm just so excited to be back with episode one here. This is going to be such a great series. I'm so excited. We have so much progress to be made. Um, yeah, thank you for joining and I'll see you guys in the next episode.